welcome back to another episode of do it prove it yesterday i actually took this out to the surf we got some fish i'll actually put the link in the description and i realized there was some problems with this automatic retrieve it's like it doesn't want to snap into place anymore so i'm gonna take it apart and see what's wrong it's working but just not like how it should so we're gonna you see so we're gonna take it apart so first i'm gonna remove this screw then it actually came with this tool so we're gonna use this tool and we're gonna unscrew that Okay, so now that the handle is off, we're gonna remove this. That is just gonna slide right off and watch out for this little washer. You're gonna need it later. And here goes the tricky part. Normally what I do is like, I try to take these off and like just set them down the way I take them off. Give this a little shake. Okay, that's out and i've done this before because i have a rival 15 but this is the 20 well you can't see but this is the rival 20 the pen rival 20 i had a 15 and i had to do some work on it so this is gonna go right back down on the inside it's gonna you're gonna have to line it up and everything but that's basically it and from this point you're gonna remove one two screws and you can actually use this that is actually what it's for but i got a screwdriver so i'm just going to use a screwdriver so now that we got the two screws loosed we're gonna have to we're gonna have to remove this mount as well though but like i said i got the tools for all of that stuff and it's just a matter of just putting it on and twist it and it's right off And it's a bit <laughs> corroded. It's a brand new, but I've been using it a lot, so. And that's two. Okay. Here's my trusty knife. So we're gonna set that there there was really no need to take that off but what the hell we're gonna take it off still oh my you guys see this little screw <laughs> i actually missed that screw uh gotta grab a phillips and i'll be right back i gotta remove that little screw so it turns out I actually had to use a flathead. I have no Philip small enough. And there you have it. This is like this is like the gear setup. And you guys can see it's pretty much dry. There's no grease. Well there's a little bit of grease but not much. And that's not our problem here. Right here is our problem. We're trying to see what's wrong with this, like why it doesn't snap back into place. You see this little right here? This is what automatically engages this when this is spinning. It causes this to snap back into place, you see? That that is what gives you the whole automatic engage so i'm gonna fill this up with some grease not too much and i think that should solve the problem we're not gonna overdo it but we're gonna add a little inside you know just to reduce reduce the friction and all of that stuff not much and normally when i get home from the surf i actually I actually wash my rods and all of that stuff, but still, 
you know it's not built to last but you gotta take care of your stuff still and we're gonna give this a little bit of grease okay let's see if we missed anything so it's up down i think we're good so this is the drag system i don't want to go too too end up but this is the drag the whole drag system so we're just gonna set that back we have no beef with it and from this point we're just gonna add this back on get this little sucker out of the way a little bit yep nice so we are all set hopefully time to snap this back on Ooh. this position into that So that is back in we're gonna add back this little screw that we forget earlier i got a a flat head okay it seems like it's the only thing that is working this is the only way that we're gonna know for sure if not man yeah so it's working yep it's working you guys can see it snap again it's gonna take a while though because this have like a little half rotation and then it's back in so now all of that is set up we're gonna add back all the hardware so from this point we're just gonna keep adding back all of the hardware i think i'm gonna try and get this on because this was a little bit challenging to get off you gotta kind of like yep and find the position and then it snaps right back in so it was these <laughs> it was these two screw these two screw came off of it we're gonna add those back and we're gonna go right back home yep grease gap and we're gonna try and position this this gotta fit basically like that it's gonna go in no problem and then we're gonna add back this yep okay all right so most of the parts are completed now it's time to put back your washers and all of that stuff so basically how i took them out i'm just gonna add them back okay that's it i'm gonna add this that's it then don't forget this little washer and you're good to go use a tool that was given to you and this actually comes in the box i kind of did a review on this well on the rival 15 so you guys can check that out if you're interested you know you don't have to over tight it but you're gonna try to line up one of these little notch with that circular with that circular hole and that is for this little this little screw I'm gonna try and fit that back it's not magnetic so it's a problem to get it in so you're gonna wanna like you know barely use your fingers to hold it in place 
screw it in and from this point what i would do i would like use back the tool and just give this a little twist so this is kind of wedging on the screw itself so this screw doesn't fall out so that's it bam snaps right back into place easy now for this point well this part looks good got grease and everything so there's no need to actually go inside here and bait click and all of that so there's a little bit of there's a little bit of grease inside of that and get my braid out of the way it's time to put this back into place okay. i think i'm gonna put a bit of grease on this on this bearing looks a bit dry that is the only thing i'm gonna apply grease to put it all on the shaft <laughs> okay so let's snap this back into place and line it up snap it on get this grease off my finger okay and you're gonna see this one is farther apart from everyone so find the right position and just you know snap it into place it's gonna fit I don't know how well you guys are seeing but the sun is out and we just got to deal with it so I think after this I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the rods back to the surf and see if we can get some more fish well it's just gonna be me it's gonna be a solo mission so it's working you gotta give it a nice wipe from all the grease So, yeah, thank you guys so much for, you know, watching this video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel as yet, feel free to do so. And you guys can also follow us on Instagram and on TikTok. And if you guys are really interested in the channel, you guys can head over to Vinci Merch. Check out our Cool Do It Prove It merch, all provided by Vinci Merch. Special thanks to Vincey Merch for hooking your boy Mr. Do It with those cool merchandise. So, you know, grab a couple, put it in the basket, you know, if you're not ready to order. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in another episode of Do It, Prove It.